Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the Mizamo motions, any of the Mizamo animation to iClone 7.9 and make it become any of the iMotion or RL motion which you can use it in any avatar to perform the 3D animations in iClone 7.9. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First thing, what you are going to do is just scroll down, go to my video descriptions. You should be able to see the access the animation the access the Mizamo animation site. First, you go into here. This is the want, and then you go to the character. First, I want you to make sure that you choose the export. It is at page 3. You must make sure you choose the export. And then back to the animation. From the animation here, you can search any of the animation. For example, kick if you want. You type in kick, search the animation. Now, it already come out. You can just have a look. Choose. Choose any of the kick motion that you want. Now, my internet a little bit slow. I just want to wait until it finish loading. Now, it already finished loaded. Let's say if I want to have this MMA kick, for example. What I'm going to do is just have a click here and then just click download. Download as the FBX. And here, the skin you can just put without skin. The frames per second can be 30, it's okay. Then click download. It will download as an FBX file. It only included the motions. Now I have to wait for a while. It finished downloaded. This is an MMA kick FBX file. I click here, show in folder. This is the Google Chrome browser. So this is the MMA kick. As demo, I will just cut and paste this into my desktop. The desktop is at here. MMA kick. Next, what you are going to do is just go to download the export iAvatar. And also, you need to have the 3D exchange pipeline. All right, in order to import into the iClone 7 3D animation software. All right, so now what you are going to do is open your 3D exchange pipeline, start a new file, just refresh everything, and then you drag in drag in the one that you downloaded from me, the export.iavatar. Scroll down, go to my video description, download from this Google Drive link. Just drag in, drag it into the 3D Exchange 7. And then how about your animation? Your animation here, for example, this MMA kick FBX, what am I going to do is just to scroll down until see the motion library here, drag it into motion library, then choose the current character, click OK. Next, click add all to perform. Now you can just have a check. Check at here, this is exactly the animations that we want. So at this moment, what you're going to do is export it as iClone, at the iClone file, untick the export geometry, and only tick export the animation. As demo, I will just browse my desktop and export it on my desktop. It will export as an MMA kick Mizamo. If you click OK, it will, it will export it as, as the RL motion file. This is the motion file that you can apply the kick motions in any of the, the avatar in iClone 7. So as demo, I will open my iCloud 7. 
I will just open a random avatar, a random character. For example, I use wait. Alright, so now I will just use this avatar, the Christian, a drag in into iClones to load to load a random I avatar. Now you can see this is an I avatar. If I drag in the RL motion just now, I drag in. Now this I avatar already can perform can perform that Mizamo animation. You can see now you really can perform and this RL motion can really apply in any I avatar, any avatar in iClone 7. So that's all for today about how to import any of the Mizabo motions and animations into your iClone 7.9 3D animation software. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy animation and game developing. See you.